What is up everyone? Of course, this is your Yankee Messiah here with you. Of course, your personification of excellence when it comes to wrestling talk in the IWC and the YWC. So, um, yeah, um, some rumors to talk about before we get into Monday Night Raw tonight, which, by the way, is going to be a big Monday Night Raw because of the fact that this is a go-home show uh, for Clash at the Castle. And by the way, this is a big week for professional wrestling, and I'm going to try to get everything into the professional wrestling uh, this week with predictions and all of that kind of stuff. So, I want to talk about this uh, report uh, from Fightful. Now, Fightful uh, is reporting, and I'm going to be talking about two major names uh, being discussed by WWE, and it's being reported that among names pitched or discussed for a WWE return include Braun Strowman. So, Braun Strowman, he was released last year. Just nine months after he held the WWE Universal Championship that he won at WrestleMania in 2020 during the uh, pandemic. And he had resigned with WWE in 2019, which included a major seven-figure multi-year deal that has paled in comparison to some of the newer contracts that WWE has handed out over the last year. He actually got down to the last few months of that deal. And the sources in WWE said that he played hardball during the negotiations. So, in the year or so since leaving WWE, um, numerous talent have noted to Fightful that his comments on independent wrestlers rub them the wrong way. Though at this point, they weren't even sure if he meant it or was doing it to Ghana Heat. Other sources within WWE um, complimented Strowman for looking ring ready, physically saying he looks better now than what he was in the WWE. Of course, you know, he was... Um, with Ring of Honor, uh, before uh, Tony Khan had purchased uh, Ring of Honor. I believe he was with uh, Impact Wrestling. And also, I believe he was with the NWA. Now, uh, he's only worked eight matches since he was released. Half of them being the uh, on control your narrative shows and Fightful has not learned if or how far negotiations have been or what the pitches were involved in him. Now, people of influence in WWE were not confirmed when asked by Fightful but also didn't deny it. And to, reiter to reiterate, we can't, well, Fightful can't confirm that he's headed back. Only that pitches have been made and that they have been in discussion. Now, another name that is being rumored to be coming back, uh, and this is a report from Andrew Zarian of the Wrestling Observer uh, uh, Figure 4 online, is WWE wants to bring back Bonson Reed. We know that Bonson Reed was heavily pushed during the NXT Black and Gold era. And Triple H, he was a Triple H guy, without a doubt. And he had several looks on the WWE main roster. Then he got released. Now, since then, uh, Bonson Reed, or Jonah, uh, he has been with Impact Wrestling. Uh, he's been with New Japan Pro Wrestling, especially the New Japan Strong, and was recently um, 
in the G1 Climax with New Japan Pro Wrestling. And I believe he has a match uh, next month uh, against uh, Kashkushka Okada. Now, you know, part of New Japan Pro Wrestling is that in the G1 Climax, the winner of that tournament. Now, whoever lost in those matches, so, you know, Okada. He did win the tournament, as I mentioned. However, there were some matches that he did lose. And one of them was to Jonah Bonson Reed. So he has to defend his uh, briefcase um, at the next show, which is, I believe, in um, a few weeks. And if uh, Okada wins that match, then yeah. Then those rumors are going to start to heat up about Bronson Reed uh, coming back uh, to the WWE. But let me just say it like this. And uh, I'm going to be very honest with you guys when it comes to um, Bronson Reed first. Now, I might get a little bit into the um, Braun Strowman thing. Because, you know, Braun Strowman, a lot of people have their opinions on Braun Strowman. You know, some people want to see him come back. Some people uh, don't want to see him come back. There's um, people saying, you know, just stay with the NWA. I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, I heard that Billy Colgan uh, offered him three figures. But, yeah. I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, to me, I don't think he's... I don't think he's going to come back to WWE, uh, Braun Strowman. I, I really don't. But when it comes to Bronson Reed, this guy, he would have benefited greatly from being away from WWE. I mean, like I said, look what he's doing in Japan right now. I mean, look at the way that he's being booked in New Japan. That dude would be a money player in New Japan Pro Wrestling. He would. I That dude would be a big superstar in New Japan. But here's the thing. This guy's gotten better. And if you have a better Jonah that returns to the WWE, you know Triple H. You know the game. The King of Kings. He had always envisioned that Bronson Reed would be a star in WWE after NXT. I mean, part of me is saying that um, he should come back. But part of me is saying, you know what, stay in Japan. Stay in the Orient. You know, because I think he will be a big star in New Japan. And New Japan, I mean, they need these guys right now. I mean, they need the next generation of superstars. I mean, you got what they been flipping the IWGP Heavyweight Championships between um, Jay White and uh, Okada. I feel like that's going to be happening. But you got a Will Ospreay. You want to give Will Ospreay a chance to hold an IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Maybe Naito. I mean, I want to see these new guys go into Japan and win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. And Jonah could benefit from that. I mean, look what happened with AJ Styles. AJ Styles went to Japan. He became leader of the Bullet Club. And look where he is right now. 
He's one of the big stars in the WWE. Why is he one of the big stars in WWE? Not just because of his body of work in Impact Wrestling. Because of the fact of what he also did in Japan as well. So that's just my thoughts on this, guys. Um, let me all know in the comment section down below what do you think of this. Um, like I said, this is going to be a big week for uh, professional wrestling talk. I'm going to try to do a preview and prediction video of um, Clash at the Castle and All Out this week. Until then, this is your Yankee Messiah. I'm out. Peace.